Well, I'm back for another weekend of van camping. Uh, this weekend is the weekend of the full moon. And like I mentioned in my last video, the intent for this weekend was to uh, climb a mountain and photograph the rising full moon from the mountaintop. I came up a day early. Um, Mike is going to be joining me tomorrow. However, we we're supposed to do that tomorrow, but clouds are supposed to move in. So that might put a damper on, um, you know, the moonrise. We won't be able to see it. Now the drive up here was really nice. The colors are at their absolute peak. I mean, you can't tell right now from where I'm standing. I'm right on cold stream. Um, but I'll try to get some footage of uh, the color uh, throughout the weekend. Uh, it is quite impressive. There was no one here, so I claimed this site that we camped at last June. And we call this the pine tree site because that lone pine tree you see in the background. Time for coffee. Cooking up some supper. Turkey burgers with cheddar and jalapeno. Should be good. They're pretty good. Supper is done. The dishes are done. The sun is set. And it gets dark early this time of year, mid-October. However, this time I came prepared. I brought my iPad with some pre-downloaded movies, so even though it gets dark early, I'll have something to do until it's actually bedtime. Because by 7 it'll be completely dark. Well, good morning. As you can see, the weather kind of took a turn for the worse overnight. I expected Mike to be here by now, but maybe he changed his mind because of the weather. It's really damp. Right now there's a heavy mist. And I don't know what I'm going to do today. Like I said, originally the plan for this weekend was to um, climb a mountain, photograph the f a rising full moon tonight, but there's a really thick overcast, so that's not going to happen. So what I think I might do is just drive around and grab some footage of the, you know, the colored trees and go from there. But right now I'm going to go fire up my uh, camp stove and have myself... A cup of coffee and then I'll go from there. Well the rear gate's acting uh, like a little roof this morning. Get a little protection from the, the rain so. Kettle is whistling. Time to make my coffee. Currently I'm on the trail to Moxie Falls. I decided to go check out the waterfall uh, with this autumn foliage. Last time I was here was in the spring and there was actually no leaves on the trees yet. So it should look pretty good with all the colored leaves. Uh, so far the trail is looking nice. So we'll uh, check it out. What sounds like rain is actually just uh, water dripping off the leaves as the mist collects. Well, I made it to the waterfall, and I have the whole place to myself. Uh, the parking area up by the road was empty, so I knew would, uh, no one would be down here. And that's the, the advantage of coming on a day like this, and when the weather's inclement, the fair weather tourists tend to stay home. I'm 
I'm going back to the vehicle, but I've decided to grab my DSLR and head back to the waterfall because conditions like this are uh, very fleeting. All we need is a big uh, rain and windstorm and it'll knock all these leaves off the trees. So while I'm here, I'm going to take advantage of it and take my good camera and go take some pictures of the waterfall. It's only a mile trek in and a mile back, so the trail is pretty easy. So in and out twice, it'll be four miles. And like I said, it's pretty easy walking on this trail. So it'll be a piece of cake. Well, as you can see, I have my camera set up behind me. I've decided to go with a vertical composition. Uh, it's a 90-foot waterfall, so it lends itself to going vertical. Also, I've put on a polarizer to help cut the shine off the rocks and the leaves and give a little bit more saturation. Uh, it'll be more colorful that way. Well, now I'm heading back toward the vehicle, and I'm certainly glad I went back to photograph the waterfall. Like I said before, these conditions may not last long. As a matter of fact, the weatherman predicts a wind and rainstorm by midweek, so that'll really do a number on these trees and the leaves. I stopped the camera there for somebody walking down the trail. So it's getting later in the day, and that's when the tourists tend to go see, see sights like this. But anyway, I'm glad I walked back to the waterfall. I think I got some really nice photos. Um, I started off shooting vertically, which a 90-foot waterfall lends itself to a, a vertical composition. But then I switched to horizontal, and those look pretty good too. I think I may prefer the horizontal compositions because I was able to include more of the foreground trees almost as a framing element but I'll know for sure when I look at them on the computer and you can decide for yourself I'll show both vertical and uh, horizontal compositions you can decide for yourself which one you prefer <laughs> Well, I made it back to the campsite. However, I think I'm gonna call it a weekend. I mean, these weather conditions, it's really not that enjoyable camping in these damp conditions. Um, this may be the last camping trip of the year. Uh, you know, in the, within a week or two, all the leaves around here will be knocked off the trees. And November is hunting season, so I don't go into the woods during hunting season. And you never know, I may, uh, plan a early winter uh, camping trip before the snow gets too deep but that remains to be seen and it's unfortunate that the weather conditions didn't cooperate because it would have been pretty nice to uh, climb a mountain and uh, see all this peak color from the mountaintops and also would have been nice to photograph uh, the rising full moon that would have been quite impressive but like I say sometimes plans just don't go according to plan but anyway, so I may still drive around a little bit, take some still photographs, but we'll see. So watch till the end and you'll see any still photographs I have taken. And so until next time, I'm out of here.